Okay, this is, I think this is the place. Many years ago, my friend Eric and I and my dad went to a place and and to go fishing and what he recommended was Cathio State Park and there is a spillover dam and I'm standing at the edge of it apparently and it looks like it looks like there's nothing there so I think they actually removed the dam and I'm praising the Lord for that because this this is a place where I almost died and my dad almost died and uh, this, uh, beloved pet dog almost died. You know, I think I can see something down in that water. I almost have to have Polaroids to see. It could be if the water level is high right now. I think the water level, but uh, it's, this is October 23rd, 2020, so I don't know if it's a particularly high level of water right now or what. But, you know, I think it's still there. I think I can see it under the water, about three feet of water to get down there. And uh, Dad's dog uh, got into the water over here. And next thing you know, she goes whoop, over the spillover dam here. And then Dad goes out there in his big, heavy winter coat. He comes out here. He squats down to try to get the dog and the water catches his behind and pushes him over. And then so I thinking, well, okay, well, I gotta do something. So I took my shoes off here, went over there, came down over here, and came to the spillover dam here and squatted down to catch my dad. And bloop, I went right into the water as well because it hit my butt too. But just as I was going over uh, my good friend Eric caught me by my foot as I was going over and uh, saved my life and then we decided to form a human chain kind of thing so I reached over and I got dad by his hand the last seemed like the last instant he was, his head was already under the water at, at that point. All that was sticking out of the water was his hand, which I grabbed and um, got his head up above the water. And then somehow, and I could see my arms, the bones in my arms bend as we pulled him up over that spillover dam against the current and somehow got him over and then it was just kind of like this primitive scene. I'm got dad by his hand that I never let go of and basically dragged him through the water like a log, like a floating log till we got to the shore here. And then he coughed up water and stuff and then, uh, but he was okay, thank God. And then uh, and we went over to the other side here where the, where the dog was paddling like mad and we came over here on this side and we reached over and grabbed the dog by the collar and, and pulled her over the cross current and then she swam to shore uh, just fine and so to my amazement I'm not seeing any kind of safety devices flotation devices ropes or nothing here uh, so this is it looks like nobody has, you know, done anything at all to um, do something about the danger here. All they've got is this sign that says, damn. And it's like, okay, well, that's, that's not very useful, uh, especially when you have this deadly circulating current that goes over the spillover dam. So you have... 
So once you get caught in that thing, you've got water coming down the spillover, and then you have the water that goes down to the bottom and comes comes up back up, and then meets the down downward current from the spillover. So you got downward and a downward. Um, so you have a downward current, uh, and then you have a downward current from the spillover, and so you got two downward things that are pulling you down to kill you, and um, that's how people die here. Anyway, um, I really would wish that the state of Minnesota would do something, you know, some kind of rope or something. This is not, um, what are those swans? I guess it must be swans, I guess. Um, do something about this very dangerous place.